Hi friends, it's Anna, and I'm here to do an empties, but I'm going to do something a little different tonight. I've actually, I'm recording on my iPad tonight, because I wanted to play something very specific. And I... I'm just going to hope I don't get copyright dinged, so I'm going to say this right now. This is not something that I own. I do not own any of the rights to this music, but I do. I wanted to play this song, this particular video. So this is a five month. This is when Miss Susan Wisnett was talking about her mama. But I want you to hear this. So I'm going to play this because we're doing all pink stuff and I want you to see part of part of the connection to this. And that does not happen and all God's women said amen. We were running about 25 minutes early. There was a Wendy's outside of the Charlotte Hospital room. Mom and I just thought, well, we'll go in and we'll get a drink. And I looked at my mom and I'm going to be honest, her faith was huge. Mine was about this big. I looked at her and said, what are we going to do? What will we do if they look at you and say it's cancer? And my mom said, Susan, I want you to know that all is well. I said, okay. We got to the hospital and they put us in a room. And I knew you did this tonight, y'all. So just I was praying. She was reading the magazine. I'll explain the truth. in a minute. She was not working. The doctor walked in and he said, Miss Dry, I don't know what it was we saw three weeks ago. <laughs> but it's not there today. And my mama looked at me and she said, Doc, I want you to know. Oh, so she was able. I'm going to let her sing the song and then I'll tell you the rest of the story that I've heard directly from Susan. And then we'll go into that interview and I'll explain who it all connects. God is still there. God is still God. His strength will live the pain. I'm trying to get this camera angle adjusted. Bear with me. Because I think I'm about to change the angle. Let's see. Let's see if that's better. That is for Cast your Carol Jones. Because he cares for me. Oh, goodness, y'all. This is me. Me trying to put this in a different angle. Let's see. Let's try that. That's better. Always oh, right. Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Explain how it all ties together in a minute. Since 2012. So, sorry. Take it up, Susan. I want her to take this key change in there. Just know the fan. Take it up. There she goes. Um. Okay. So that is a song by my my friends you've heard me talk about the Wisdoms called All Is Well. That song gets a lot of playtime around my house, period. But especially in October because it was one of the ones that my Dusty loved so much on her journey. And I've just... I wanted you to hear that in connection with my focus on the pink things with this empties. I have about three weeks of empties we're going to go over because I recorded a video two weeks ago today. My dogs went crazy. I needed to re-record the video, but the empties got thrown out before I could, but I have them written on a piece of paper. Then I was at my grandparents Tuesday midday through Friday evening of the following week, so there were not enough empties to share. And then I've had this week of melting. So basically I have about three weeks worth of time, which is about two and a half weeks worth of melting here to go over. I finished one shower gel in Twilight Woods. You see I don't have a lid on it. Because you know where the lid is. It's in Brother Jim's bag. I finished up a cotton cleanup. Cleaning up vendor wax. I finished up in my oil diffuser in my bedroom over those two weeks. Two pumpkin apple bath and body wallflowers. I never let them go dry. You guys have heard me talk about this before. The empties that, they were all wax, the empties that, oh, and I replaced my wallflower in here, which was Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. I've not used the remainder of the oil of it yet, but I replaced it with another Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. It's called Caramel Pumpkin Swirl, so I know there's pumpkin in it somewhere, but there's no pumpkin in the notes that they list. It's listed as luscious caramel, ground cinnamon, rich brown sugar, and creamy vanilla. But anyway, I replaced that in here. The empties that I had done that I never, the, the footage was bad and I didn't post. One sugared strawberry tester, two go-go mango testers. A ribbon melt, which is like this, but this is a different scent. From Jim's Daughter Crafts and the scent You Are Tough. And I don't know what the scent notes were on that because I don't have the packaging. And then I had two little brittle cubes left from a sample of Sassy Girl Aroma that Etta had sent me that was in Sawdust Days. There happened to be pink swirled in to those particular brittle cubes, so I used them. 
again, because I don't have the packaging, I don't have the scent notes, but I was proud of those and wanted to make sure I mentioned them as well. Then let's talk about the ribbon melt that I finished. That I do have the packaging for here. She puts a warning label on all of her melts. And it says, and I don't think I've ever gone over her packaging in this much detail, so that's why I'm going to do this. I'm going to read her little warning label. It says, to prevent fire or injury, bleh, to prevent fire or injury, remove packaging before use. Use only in tea light warmers or UL listed electric warmers approved for wax melts. Read and follow all instructions provided with your warmer before use. Do not leave melter unattended while in use. Keep out of reach of children and pets. Do not add water. Do not melt on stovetop or in non-approved appliances. Use only in well-ventilated areas away from flammable materials. And discontinue use if dish contains less than a half inch of wax. Now, I will say about that, that is your, like, that depends on how big you cut your chunks of wax. Because our wax melters... Our warmers do not dissipate the wax. And then she puts on her label. Jim's Daughter Crafts. That's the company name. You Are Strong happens to be this scent name. So she puts her scent name. Then she puts her scent notes. This one is a true fresh cut rose scent. And I laugh and I say she named this perfectly. Because anybody who knows, rose scents are strong. And then she has on here, hand poured in Virginia. It's a parasoy wax blend. And she gives a pour date. This particular one was poured 10-10 of 2021. So yes, it was just over three years old. But it was still strong. Because rose. And then I have... Six testers to go over. Currently going in my bedroom is pink cotton. The previous one in my bedroom was pink haze. Current, well, not current. The one I just took out of my bathroom is totally mini. The... Previous one before that was Pink Rhubarb Sugar. And the previous one before that was Watermelon Tangerine. Those were all, these three were all in my bathroom recently. These two were recently in my bedroom. I just replaced this wax, which was in here in the library today. And I did something I don't actually normally do. You're going to hear about in a minute. This was one of our breast cancer bars from our breast cancer collection we did last October. This one is Pink Spreads Hope, which I don't have the scent notes in front of me, but to me, if you've ever smelled the Amazing Grace perfume by Philosophy, this is a dupe. And then I have a bar of Angel Experiment 624. This, you guys know, is a favorite. Favorite, favorite, favorite of mine. Normally, I warm it in a trio with Angel, Rainbows and Butterflies, and Ursula. And you guys have heard me talk about that many, many times. But I do love, well, I mean, I love, actually, I really, this is probably my favorite of the Breast Cancer Collection bars. Um, I had two cubes left of this, so I warmed them in here a couple and melted them down a couple of days. There were three cubes left in this bar. I actually currently have two cubes going in here, one in each warmer, and you guys can see my warmer. You can only see one, but it's on. Both of them are on. And then my third cube of this bar, just because I need to get through the wax, I actually put the third cube in my bathroom. So I actually have two scent, two rooms that are the same scent, which is very not like me. And I'm playing with this 
clamshell because I just cannot stop smelling these bars. But anyway, so for three weeks, it or really two and a half weeks time when I was here with full access to all of my stuff. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but I'm still very proud of it. And thank you for bearing with me through this, you know, needing to share a little bit more about Dusty tonight too. Until I see you next time, my friends, please remember that I love you. And please, have a blessed day on purpose.